Hello and welcome to Row TC. This is a bit exciting. This is the new Shimano Dura Ace Disc Di2 group set. I'm in Lord to test it out for a few days. We're going for a ride in the mountains. You guys are gonna come along with me. I'm gonna give you a behind the scenes look at kind of one of these media days. But as we're riding along, I'll go through some of the key points of the new group set. I should start off because I might not cover it. 12 speed, it's semi-wireless. The uh, mechs are linked together to the battery, but there's no wire coming down the down tube here. I say it's semi-wireless, if you want it to be, you can run that wire up to the system and that apparently saves 50%-ish of the battery, which is not bad. This is also the new Pinarello Dogma F, the one that Team Sky are riding at the Tour de France uh, this year. Hasn't been doing much winning, but then, uh, you know, you can't win everything. But yes, so we'll be testing out this bike too. How good's that? Two tests in one. Right. Off we go. Okay. First climb of this little trip, which is a nasty little one. Some of the boys have uh, gone off the front which I'm not gonna do. I wanna talk to you about Jura Ace. Initial impressions from this very first ride is that, all right, so it's still fast. Jura Ace always was, um, kind of expect that. It's a bit quieter. I'm not sure if that's because they're using a wet lube or kind of a medium lube. We'll test that out when we get back, see how dirty the chain is, but, the big but is that the brakes seem, seem first off, to have really, really improved. There's no noise, but as you can see, sun is out behind me, so that does help. And then uh, the pad clearance seems to, that 10% improvement seems to have made all the difference. So we have had some very, very hard braking sessions and yeah, brakes are doing well. Really, um, the pads are retracting properly. That means no little bits of noise. It's always very nice. Doesn't feel like your brakes are rubbing. Right, on with this hill. for the chest out. It's quite hot here and I'm a vert abroad so sun's out, chest comes out. Anyway, one of the tiny things that's changed and one thing that won't matter too much you don't think but is the sprint shifters. Now really really nice profile. They've gone back to that tiny tiny and angular design. Yeah loving them although on this I'm not actually sprinting too much. Can you imagine? I go. Okay, on to another climb now. I've seen signs for the obese, but I don't think we're doing it. It's uh, a bit of a busier road, so terribly sorry for the traffic noise. One of the main changes that visually you'll see is the size of the shifter hood. Now, Shimano made noises about the pros wanting this, the bigger shifter hood. Um, to be honest, it's not as big as it looks in the, um, in the product photos, but yeah, very comfy shifters, which is quite nice. continue we've just stopped 
in this lovely little village that we've descended into. Now the descent was a good chance to check that braking. So Shimano says it's added its servo wave technology that comes from the GRX gravel group set and the um, mountain bike group sets like XT and XTR. I was getting a bit of brake rub down that descent. So it's, it's you're on the brakes loads. You're really dragging the front brake. But yeah, I could hear just that brake, just slightly, just with the little ting, ting, ting. But then honestly, it's a hot day. The brakes were getting really, really hot because it's a fast, twisty downhill. You know, this is an extra, or relatively extreme case for the brakes. So it'll be interesting to see how they bed in. I mean, this is the first real ride for most of these bikes. So we'll get home, see if everything's still lined up because that's the only fair thing to do. But right now, Shimano cars just pulled in behind me. I'm gonna go and take some lovely photos for the Instagram. <music> nice just got a load of pack shots for um, those nice little details that we always like to see um, so we're just gonna go and now do some action shots where we ride past on the same road a few times and look you know we put it in the big ring on the climb that we do a gurn face because you know, obviously that's uh, that's how I ride every climb um, but yeah and then it's one more climb and then we descend back into Lord, which is, uh, yeah, be a quite a nice day out. Right, so we've um, stopped again. We were literally just around the corner up there. Um, we stopped to do some more ride pass shots. So that's like, the thing I was talking about when we sprint uphill in the big ring. Not exactly accurate, but it looks good. Um, we've done some descending ones as well, so we'll see them. Um, yeah, just stood around in the sunshine to be honest. It's uh, hard working conditions. I hope you feel for me. Okay, well, there we go. First ride done, showered, changed, and I really need some dinner. Initial impressions, front mech, hell of a lot stronger. That's for sure. Um, does it actually change how the front mech shifts? It's a little bit faster. The rear mech feels smoother. They're saying that it's faster. I'm not so sure. Is the drivetrain quieter? That's one thing that we wanted to see. Not sure. Again, uh, we're running some kind of dry to maybe wet lube. Um, so I have to get it back on home roads, get it with my usual setup with some squirt chain lube, see if it actually compares. The brakes, now this was one ride, so we can't really make a full on judgment right now. They're definitely quieter in general operation. As soon as you take it to the extremes, we had a few really, really gnarly descents. Um, they can get a little bit of that issue where they didn't really retract properly um, and you get the ting, 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 but it's quieter. And then if you just join me up here, well, the hood ergonomics, they looked a lot bigger in the photos. And to be honest, they feel really, really nice. Um, they've canted them in a little bit. That feels really comfortable, so you won't have to be doing that yourself, although you still can for your aero gains if you want. Um, the hood surface, again, feels really, really nice. There's not much to say about these. They were comfy before. They're still comfortable. There's 5.1 millimeters, I think, of extra shifter paddle here. I can't say I noticed too much, but then, hey, um, the difference in these shifter paddles is a little bit more noticeable, which is good over rougher ground. We did see a bit of that today. 
and Shimano has got new wheels too. Now these are the C36, as I mentioned earlier, um, out on the ride. And for the terrain that we've been riding, I've been really happy to have these on the bike. A few of the people here, a few of the other media types like me have the C60 and the C50s. Personally, I, I love these. Um, we'll go into the mountains on some bigger coals tomorrow and I fully expect to have the upper hand against those people on the deep sections. With that said, it's time to say goodbye from Lord. Uh, we've got more videos coming up um, with some of the Shimano mechanics and engineers. So if you want a deep dive into the tech, that's the place to go to. And if you like this video, remember to give it a thumbs up. If you wanna subscribe, that really helps out the channel. And for more like this, you can even hit the bell notification icon. It tells you when we upload a video. That's great. Anyway, I'm gonna go get some dinner. I'll see you in the next video.